Within the hidden depths of Honduras's La Muschicia jungle lies a place where legends come alive, where history breathes once more. Picture yourself discovering the lost city or Caja Camesa, a world echoing with tales of exploration and ancient wonder, where nature's grandeur intertwines with humanity's endless curiosity. Welcome to Exciting Archaeology News, your channel for diving into the unknown and unveiling the secrets of the Earth's last true wilderness. Hit that subscribe button and join us on an adventure that transcends mere exploration. In the dense, uncharted jungles of Honduras, a team of fearless treasure seekers embarked on a quest to find the legendary Monkey God City. Guided by ancient myths of a mystical white city, these explorers, armed with passion and courage, uncovered the hidden remnants of a civilization swallowed by time and memory. Once thriving, this society now exists only in faint echoes and whispers, far removed from the glorious pages of history. The daring adventurers, both archaeologists and enthusiasts, were drawn to the jungle's secrets like moths to a flame. Their hunger for knowledge led them through a complex labyrinth of plazas, mounds, earthworks, and an astonishing mud pyramid, all untouched relics of an empire that blossomed and withered a millennium ago. These remarkable structures, untouched for centuries, offered a vivid glimpse into a once-flourishing culture that had long since vanished. The return of the explorers last week signaled a groundbreaking revelation, heralding new insights into this elusive society. Tucked away in darkness and isolation, the team unearthed a collection of stone figures which promised to unlock the secrets of rituals and faith that molded this mysterious civilization. Unlike the familiar Maya, the identity of this lost tribe remains an enigma, a complex riddle that has baffled scholars and dreamers alike. Their name, once carved into the stone of time, is now just a haunting melody carried by the wind. Leading the excavation, Christopher Fisher of Colorado State University stood awestruck by the pristine preservation of the site. Among the treasure trove, he suspected that the hidden stone sculptures at the pyramid's base might hold a deep ceremonial importance. The untouched nature of the artifacts, Fisher believed, symbolized a powerful ritual, as though these treasures had been deliberately set apart from everyday life. The Earth's embrace yielded 52 precious objects, hinting at a deeper hidden stash, possibly entangled with the tombs of the ancients. Among these artifacts, the presence of stone ceremonial seats, ornate vessels, and enigmatic carvings was felt. Yet the centerpiece was the head of what might be a were jaguar, a symbolic token of a shaman's journey into the spiritual world, or perhaps a relic from the ritualized games that once dominated ancient Mesoamerican culture. In the heart of the remote valley of La Muschicia, an alluring artifact, possibly depicting a helmet-wearing figure, captivates with its ambiguity. Honduran archaeologist Oscar Neil Cruz, placing its origins between 1000 to 1400 AD, immortalized a transient moment in stone and soil. Veiled in secrecy, the artifact's location remains hidden, safeguarded against potential plunderers. A protective curtain shields these vestiges of an ancient civilization from unwanted intrusion and exploitation. The tale begins in May of 2012, when aerial glimpses reveal tantalizing ruins in the untouched valley. Long-forgotten tales of ivory fortresses concealed within lush foliage had beckoned explorers for decades. Indigenous lore spun enchanting stories of a white house or sacred cacao haven, an elusive realm that dared not be revisited. Dating back to the 1920s, multiple endeavors sought to unravel the mystery of the White City or Ciudad Blanca. Theodore Morday's daring 1940 expedition, supported by the Museum of the American Indian, yielded artifacts but locked away the core revelation, a riddle trapped in time. Modern filmmakers Steve Elkins and Bill Benison embraced the quest, propelled to unveil the city's hidden allure. Their journey led them to a valley guarded by towering mountains, ripe for exploration. A high-tech LiDAR scanner, deployed from a Cessna Skymaster aircraft by the University of Houston's Center for Airborne Laser Mapping in 2012, served as a futuristic beacon. Piercing the dense canopy, the scanner's laser beams uncovered nature-concealed secrets. Skilled eyes deciphered the land's cryptic narrative from these scans. Christopher Fisher discerned evidence of ancient human craftsmanship adorning riverbanks, monuments, expansive earthworks, and traces of forgotten dwellings. 
the puzzle unraveled, confirming an ancient city predating Columbus. In archaeology, skyborne evidence alone falls short. The past demands a tactile connection. An assorted team of experts, adventurers, filmmakers, and Honduran soldiers descended upon the site, tracing footsteps left by long-lost souls. A collaborative endeavor, each contributed their unique expertise, united by an insatiable quest for truth. The National Geographic Society dispatched their own to capture this historic odyssey in both words and imagery. What they found on the ground exceeded all expectations. There, the ancient city spread before their eyes, not a singular lost city, but a weave of lost cities, each a chapter of a grand narrative obscured by the sands of time. Encased in unspoiled rainforest, the valley revealed a glimpse of an ancient world untouched by modernity. Within the embrace of the ancient rainforest, untouched by the passage of time, life thrived with an innocence unaware of mankind's presence. From the lofty perches, spider monkeys gazed inquisitively at the human intruders, while guinea hens and tapers wandered undisturbed through the camp, reveling in their unspoiled domain. Mark Plotkin, the expedition's botany specialist, stood in awe before the forest's pristine beauty, dubbing it Central America's purest rainforest. Its significance transcended words, yet an ominous cloud hangs over this Eden. The looming peril of deforestation is fueled by insatiable ranching desires. The once lush land now bears the scars of cattle's advance, transforming into a stage for Central American beef production, catering to global appetites. Virgilio Paredes Trapero, leader of the Honduran Institute of Anthropology and History, bore witness to this endangered ecosystem. His words weren't mere observations. They were a desperate plea for aid to rescue this sanctuary from fading away. The clock is ticking. We've less than a decade to act, he implored, reaching out for support. Though Honduras's determination to safeguard it is unwavering, limited resources restrain their efforts. The clarion call echoes, world unity must shield this haven. Simultaneously, a unique quest unfolded via Conservation International's Rapid Assessment Program. Their mission wasn't to uncover artifacts, but to find the living heart of the fabled lost city of the monkey god within the Moschichia rainforest. Until now, this concealed treasure remained untouched, wrapped in green mystery. Their exploration peeled back nature's layers, revealing a vibrant spectacle of life. Their meticulous study unveiled an abundance of plants and creatures, confirming life's pulse within Ciudad Blanca. Their adventure didn't halt at historical treasures. The jungle had more surprises. As researchers ventured deeper, they found a biological haven teeming with unseen species. In this lush sanctuary, creatures thought extinct found refuge, thriving. Rediscovering these species ignited hope illuminating life's tenacity within Central America's intricate terrains. Ciudad Blanca's rainforest, a crown jewel of diversity, enthralled explorers with its rich array of life. From graceful birds to hidden mammals, from dancing insects to gentle vegetation, the sanctuary's vitality amazed not just Honduras, but the entire region. This ecological paradise owes its vibrancy to the mosaic of ecosystems nestled within Ciudad Blanca's boundaries. These diverse habitats provide a nurturing home where countless species flourish. The forest's natural harmony was confirmed by the presence of several indicator species, symbols of the untouched and thriving environment that has stood the test of time. As the team documented rare creatures, many of which are facing the threat of extinction elsewhere, the imperative of preserving this sanctuary became abundantly clear. This Eden-like refuge safeguards a fragile hope for endangered species across the delicate forests of Central America. But the discoveries didn't stop with the fauna. The expedition's observant eyes also turned to the realm of flora. They identified 183 unique plant species, grouped into 68 families, with some teetering on the brink of endangerment. Among them were two critically endangered gems, including the exquisite Reinhardia gracilis palm and three entirely new species native to Honduras. These botanical wonders sing a song of the forest's resilience and the untold secrets held in its green depths. The voyage into life's myriad expressions also embraced the world of Lepidoptera, the butterflies, and moths. 
With 246 distinct species identified, a riot of colors and patterns danced before the explorer's eyes, reflecting the thriving health of Ciudad Blanca's ecosystem. And it wasn't just the butterflies that caught the eye. The entire insect kingdom seemed to celebrate life's vibrancy, affirming nature's perfect balance. The exploration of the lost city of the monkey god blossomed into a living portrait of life's diversity, painting a vivid picture that extended to the skies and beyond. Birds, 198 species in total, adorned the canopy with their vibrant colors and songs, breathing life into the forest's heart. Some of these avian beauties are classified as near-threatened, vulnerable, and endangered, including the magnificent Great Green Macaw, a symbol of the fragile balance of nature, with fewer than 2,500 of its kind remaining in the wild. The expedition uncovered hidden territories of rarities, like the elusive Tiny Hawk, intertwining the fabric of unspoiled forest and human presence. The journey through Ciudad Blanca's domain also unraveled tales of amphibians and reptiles. With 22 species of amphibians and 35 reptiles, the expedition bore witness to mysteries such as the false tree coral snake's rediscovery and new elevational findings, highlighting the critical need to shield these fragile beings from the ever-encroaching human touch. The exploration dipped into the aquatic realms, discovering 13 fish species swimming in clear, untouched waters. Their existence, free from invasive disruptions, signaled the ecological vitality of the region. The hint of a potentially new postalide species whispered promises of yet more undiscovered wonders lying beneath the water's surface. The forest diversity did not stop there. Small mammals, including bats and rodents, showcase 40 unique species. Some of these creatures, rare and novel to Honduras, held an extraordinary significance in conservation and acted as vital indicators of their habitats. The bat realm, in particular, revealed new records, documenting previously hidden mysteries within this unexplored world. The presence of medium and large mammals was a triumphant declaration of an ecosystem that thrives in harmony, where herbivores and top carnivores coexist in a dynamic dance of life. As we bid farewell to the echoes of history's embrace, remember to hit that like button if you were mesmerized by this journey into the heart of the unknown. Subscribe to our channel for more riveting tales of discovery, legends rekindled, and the untamed wonders that grace our planet.